If your kids eat breakfast or lunch prepared by their school, they may notice some subtle changes this year. Good Day Utah News anchor John Franke looks at new requirements school kitchens must meet to lower sodium in every meal. Salt is everywhere. It makes our food taste better, but too much of it can lead to heart disease and high blood pressure. I'm on a low salt diet too, and uh, we rarely add it to anything. Jed is doing what he can now. These are macadamia nuts with no salt, and these are low salt uh, sodium peanuts. To build healthy eating habits for his daughter, Emma. I almost add nothing uh, to what we eat. Try to do a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. The USDA is hoping to encourage other families to do the same by lowering the amount of sodium allowed in lunches made at schools. I reached out to Kathleen Britton, the Utah State Board of Education's Child Nutrition Director, to find out what it all means. It's really important that children are exposed to less sodium at a younger age, so therefore they make healthier choices as they um, grow through, grow up. Here are the requirements that took effect for this school year. For kids in grades K through five, the amount of sodium allowed in their meals is no more than 1110 milligrams. That's down 120 milligrams from a year ago. For middle schoolers, 1225 milligrams of sodium are allowed, 135 milligrams less than last year. And high school lunches are allowed 1280 milligrams of sodium, down 140 from last school year. It's not like they can't have any sodium. It's how you pair it with other items that you're eating in your meals. I want to show you how replacing some common foods will help you cut back on sodium. I'm going to make a lunch with a roast beef sandwich, including lettuce, tomato and onions, some chips and a soda. This meal has more than 1400 milligrams of sodium. This meal would not meet the new standard. So let's take out the chips and the soda replace with the flavored water, a granola bar and some grapes. And now this meal has about 1200 milligrams of sodium. The updated meal meets the standard for middle or high school students, and you know what? It is not going to sacrifice anything when it comes to taste. With the new federal requirements, schools have to make these types of substitutions. They're incorporating herbs and spices in the meals to lower the sodium, and they've done a lot of outreach to find products that can fit into their meals at a lower sodium rate. Parents we found are already trying to do that. This one will have broccoli for broccoli for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe all kids won't have broccoli for breakfast like Emma. And the main things he's eating, apart from the peanut butter, are um, berries and bananas uh, and uh, muesli breakfast cereals. But developing healthy habits can prevent kids from craving those unhealthy, salty foods as they grow up. And sometimes I'm um, shocked and surprised that even the things that kind of present themselves as being healthy options. Often when you look, you see there's all kinds of additives, including high levels of, of salt in them. And the changes likely won't end here. A proposal is on the table right now to lower the school lunch sodium threshold to under 1000 milligrams for all grade levels by the year 2029. In Salt Lake City, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.